Well, hello and welcome back to Posh Cats Camping. I'm in Smurf on the driveway today and this is a collaboration video with a number of other YouTubers that have also got caravans, camper vans and motorhomes. And uh, we're going to talk about a simple subject of our best or favourite accessories for under £50. I've got one or two here that I couldn't live without. Don't forget to watch the other videos in this uh, playlist. There'll be a link at the uh, end of this, uh, on the screen at the end of this little short video, and also in the description below. We don't have any affiliated links. All of the products that I'm going to show you have been purchased by ourselves, and I'll give you an idea as to where I bought them and how much they cost. So what's the first one? The first one is bunting. We all like a little bit of bunting in a camper van, don't we? And I've got uh, some triangular bunting at the top here, and also some uh, hexagonal, yes, bunting. And I purchased this online. There are one or two specialist shops that, uh, that make this um, on eBay, uh, and also at the shows. You'll notice that there's one or two um, people that, and companies that make um, this sort of thing and, uh, and sell it. I think I paid around about £15 for all of the hexagonal. There's two pieces here, or three. Uh, it came to around about £15 to £20. And the, um, the triangular ones were, I think, about £8, something like that. They're only short, so you do have to double them up if you're going to go all the way around your lounge in your camper. Now, you may have noticed that whilst we were looking at that bunting, there are one or two little fairy lights uh, mixed in in between. Now I've got, um, I got these from Asda about two Christmases ago, I think, um, for Smurf. And I put them up and I thought, oh, they look nice. And they fitted quite well. Again, there's three pieces. They're only short strings of uh, lights. Well, they're little LEDs, really, in, inside a little wooden casing. And they were five pounds a set. But actually, when you're sitting here and enjoying the, the camper van in the warm and cozy warm, any time of year, really, they're nice to just put on. And then we use the little spotlights that you see for reading as well. Now, my third item is storage boxes. Now, we all love to store and hoard things in the cupboards. In Smurf here, we're, we're very lucky we've got quite a, a lot of storage space, but we do have to make sure that we use it effectively. And that's where these little storage boxes come in handy. These are really useful boxes. That's their name. They're really useful boxes. You can see them in some of the quality stores. I think places like B&Q have them. Um, they, they are a little bit more expensive, but I tend to buy well and buy once. Um, that's my old motto from years ago. If you've got cheap boxes, they get brittle because of the very cold and the very warm temperatures in a vehicle. It makes the plastic brittle. The thing we like about really useful boxes, and there are other makes, as I said, is that they, they have lockable lids so that no, things don't fall out of them, and you can also stack them. So the nice little lockable lids reveals that this one's stuffed full of goodies. Um, as you can see, all sorts of um, bits of tape, um, cable ties, all the sort of things that you need. Um, and you usually leave at home. But there's just a little bit of everything in there that might come in handy. They're not too heavy, uh, not too clumsy, but the other thing that you need to bear in mind is if you've got a locker um, with a fairly narrow front, you need to choose the right size. This is my clothes cupboard, but just as an example, you need to choose the right kind of size that will, that will fit in there, and you can shut the door. And also, if you get them exact uh, the exact right size you can stack one upon the other and I know that the really useful boxes come in different shapes and sizes and um, I'll show you a picture of the one that we've got in the boot um, this is about the third box I've had because I, I forgot to use my own rule and buy a quality box but this one again came from B&Q it cost 15 pounds and uh, it's exactly the right dimension to take up um, a, a proportion of the boot without wasting space. My next uh, really useful accessory is seat covers. Now I think with your driver and passenger seat you're really in and out of it all the time. It's nice to have a cozy cover to sit on and we wanted like a sheepskin effect 
seat cover. When we bought Smurf, we went to um, the Norfolk Motorhome and Caravan Show and we bought these from there. They were about £20 a side, so that's about £40, still under your £50 limit. And I think they're around about that price now. They may have gone up a little bit. They're good. They protect your seats from getting in and out. They've been washed numerous times uh, since we've had them and they're now starting to show a little bit of sign of age here and there. But we still keep them because they're, uh, they're there to do the job of protecting the seats. And my next accessory, it, under 50 pounds, is this little jerry can. And uh, we use this for drinking water. So we, we use tap water, but we fill it with uh, drinking water at the beginning of a, a trip uh, or whilst we're away, we top it up. The reason we have a little jerry can like this um, is because a very uh, long time ago we had uh, someone try to contaminate our water by putting objects and sand, we think it probably was, into our aqua roll while we were caravanners. So we're very wary of uh, drinking from our tanks and uh, using water for, for, you know, for cooking and so on out of the tanks. Fine for washing and flushing the loo, but we tend to use water that we we can keep an eye on and that's why we have this little jerry can and it sits on the surface in the kitchen or if uh, we're busy cooking we can move it to the worktop in the little washroom very handy and available on amazon i think this was 22 between 22 and 25 pounds nice little tap on here and you fill it in the top now our final accessory and probably our favorite is our fabric dog crate. A lot of people have asked us about our dog crate. We've got two little border terriers as you know and they're aging border terriers now at 14 and 12 years old but they're able to stay in the same crate while they travel together and uh, Sophie particularly likes that. Uh, she likes to be with Oscar whilst they're traveling. So we've got one that's big enough to fit both dogs in but not too big that it's um, in the way or, or we're not able to put it in a, um, a safe place and also I'll put the dimensions on the screen here because um, as I say a lot of people have asked about it it's easier to store when it folds up and it's not like a metal one that should damage the side of your your van and your cupboards when you fold it up and tuck it away it, it, with no sharp edges on it it's, it's all made of fabric and uh, we leave the the little um, cover and um, the, the fluffy bed inside it when it's folded so it's just a matter of just linking it together um, it collapses all in one there's no loose parts you know it all collapses and, and folds and there's a little clips that um, will hold it together whilst it's packed away you've got the little clips and it, it packs away usually we keep it in the cab once we've swiveled the seats it will go behind the seats well that's about it for our top five accessories i think there was probably one or two more than five but they're all things that are under 50 pounds and we find them really useful don't forget to look at the other videos in the series there's a playlist at the end and also in the description below we'll see you on the next video that's coming up on Friday.